I just wanted to quickly hop on and say um there is a very big chance now that there's not going to be any Thursday uploads on this channel um mostly because I start school next week and that is a main priority to me not my channel um however I'm going to be trying to do at least one video a week on a Monday um my uploads might change in time ways as well um I think I might be uploading at 6 p.m now instead of 5 to give me a little bit more time to just edit and make sure it's all ready for you guys but I just wanted to let you know that there may not be any Thursday uploads anymore because I'm only gonna go to doing one video a week but yeah enjoy the video one two three fuck it welcome back to my channel please ignore the state of my hair um and we now have a middle part in um i'm gonna permanently have my hair like this so i hope you guys like it um in today's video i'm going to be giving you some tips and advice of how i got grade nines in science and how you guys can too um i was gonna just do like an all nines in gcse's because if you haven't seen my gcse reaction video i did get nines in most of my subjects which I'm super grateful for and this is not me trying to brag but I feel like there's different revision techniques for each subject so today I'm just going to be focusing on science however if you do want like a different video for a different subject so if you want from one for English, history, RE etc I can do those as well just leave a comment down below anyway if you want to know how to smash your GCSEs out the park please keep watching okay so I've broken up what advice I'm going to give into like three sections um the first section is about revising smart not hard um, loads of people will tell you this an awful lot and half the time when I got told this I didn't really know what it meant until probably halfway through year 11. Um, first of all I'm going to just say you need to work out what revision techniques work best for you. Everyone I knew basically used flashcards and I was the only person who really it, it just did not work flashcards when there was no point in me making flashcards because i just never used them so i would first off utilize what your what you know works for you i will obviously give some ways to revise in this video but um simple thing like that you need to work out what actually does work to you, work for you already so you can apply it to the advice that i'm gonna i'm about to give you First of all, what I'm gonna just say is my best advice for revising for science is breaking up big chunks of information. Um, you get a lot of information in science and a lot of it comes in a massive chunk. Um, the way I used to revise was breaking these up into really, really small detailed chunks. So when you revise, you're revising a really, really small section of the course but in as much detail as possible so if let's say you wanted to do a chemistry revision and you wanted to revise electrolysis you all you do is revise electrolysis in that one small um revision session if you want to call it um in as much detail as possible this is so much more effective than choosing to revise a whole massive topic and being like i'm going to revise the whole of energy changes in an hour you're not going to do it in depth it's better to do a very individual subject in that hour because you're more likely to remember it a lot clearer and in a lot more detail if that makes sense another tip that goes alongside this is big chunks of information i found easy to put into little bullet points and when i mean little bullet points i really mean tiny like not sentences and barely even words i used to use little phrases or initials or even diagrams to break down a large chunk of information this was mostly useful for biology because obviously you have to learn about um reflex reactions and i mostly did this because obviously there's a lot of information a lot of steps in that um about like the um stimulus and about the um relay relay neuron up to your like hypothalamus or something like that in your brain i don't even know it's been a while since i revised this so i'm surprised i even got a nine sorry my mum just came in for a second but what was i saying um yeah so when i was learning about reflex reactions i literally minimized it down to like individual initials and like 
words and arrows and diagrams. Um, so for example, the relay neuron was RN. For me, the sensory neuron was SN. So I did these on little pieces of paper and I would memorize the initials and the process that I wrote down because then when I got a six marker on it, all I could remember was the diagrams and the initials and it made me remember the whole process a lot better. Um, I just think if you minimize down the amount of words and letters you're gonna use in your revision, it helps you remember it a lot, lot clearer. It might not work for everyone, but this is what I would say to do, especially if you're doing a massive six marker. Um, I found that for my revision, I would take a six mark question and be like, okay, do I know the knowledge for this? No, I don't. I'd go away, make my like little initials and diagrams, revise that for about half an hour and then go, okay, let's put the notes aside, answer the six mark question and mark it. Did I get enough marks? No, I need to then go back and see which bits I missed out. That's probably my best way you can revise for science. Obviously, this isn't useful for um, single mark questions or calculations, but for those lengthy answers where you need to remember a lot of information, this is a very, very good way of doing it. And it will go into your like long-term memory store in your brain because it's that visual aspect and those really snappy bullet points. Um, I hope that makes sense but that's exactly what I did for science and it seemed to really, really pay off my marks um, and just any exam questions I did in class. The next one I'm gonna just say is, this is probably gonna be a bit controversial, but do not spend hours learning equations. Honestly, every single person I knew was like, oh my God, I don't know the equation for this. I don't know the equation for this. What's this equation for physics? And I used to be the exact same, but towards the end, I used to just be like, do you know what? If I don't know it, I don't know it. And I know that that's probably not the mindset you'd expect from a grade nine student, but equations are just one of those things you either remember or you don't. And if, to be honest, I never revised them. I, it was a last minute thing before I went in the exam. I was like a quick look at the paper. What, what like, what equations is there to remember i used to just be like kinetic energy is half times mass times philosophy squared i don't even know if that's right but that's how i used to just remember them um i used to quick look at them before i went into the exam and the reason why i say don't spend hours revising this is because there's a lot more questions and information that you should be prioritizing over equations calculations although in separate science, there is a lot of calculations that will come up in your exams. I did a mock paper for physics and 42 marks were equations and calculations. I would definitely say that the information is way more important because you're more likely to miss marks on that. With calculations, you can kind of guess. You can be like, yeah, I'll just multiply them all together or add this and take away that. With the normal information, you can't just fluke it and go, write down anything that's what i would just say um also if you're constantly doing questions and you're constantly using these equations and practicing with them you'll naturally pick them up and that is what i found with all the energy and electricity equations i naturally just remembered them because i was doing so many exam questions and practice using them and because i wrote down the equation every single time i did a question it made me remember it more. So if you are really bad at remembering equations, write it down every time you do a question um, and use the little triangle things. Um, you know how when you do like density because mass over volume, um, we use these triangle things. I'll try and put it on like screen over here or something um, where like the bottom two was that you multiplied and then the divide was top one divided by the bottom in a little triangle. Obviously it won't work if you've got more than three terms in an equation, but Memorise the triangles, not the um, equations, because then at least you've got all the rearrangements of the equation in the triangle and you don't need to worry about rearranging it before or after an exam, during, stressing, yeah. Um, so I would just say do that. Okay, I'm gonna go on to my second section of my advice. And the second section is exam techniques. Honestly, I can't cannot stress enough about knowing exactly what you're sitting and I know that seems so obvious but all that information is only 50% of your your exam that's what I think anyway if you know everything on this spec 
but you have no idea how to answer a question in enough depth to get like all the marks you're not gonna get above about a six and i know that that is so shocking but it is true um to stop this from happening you need to be doing as many exam questions as you can um obviously i reckon all your teachers will be telling you this and you need to listen to them you need to do at least even if it's only maybe five or six questions a week it will help and what i'm going to say about this is you need to be using mark schemes i'm not saying that you copy off the mark scheme and just write that down in, a, in an exam question because that is not going to work you're not going to learn anything from it you need to be answering the questions and looking at the mark schemes to see whether you've got them right see what they're after um and just in general what keywords and terminology the exam boards are using because those are what are going to get you the marks and i know it is crazy but it's just something that has to be done um one thing as well that really really tripped me up and the reason why i lost words is i struggled to memorize my command words and if you don't know what command words are they're things like describe explain outline um label things like that they come up a lot in exam questions and in science they do like to trick you up a bit because they'll be like describe why that's basically an explain so they'll say something else instead of another word to try and trip you up or basically to pick out the people who really know their stuff and then make sure that they get the correct grade so yeah learn your command words and learn exactly what they're trying to tell you um, if it's saying explain why don't tell me about what it is explain me why it does it um because you're going to spend so much time explaining what the actual thing is when it won't be on the mark scheme it will most likely be under the ignore section of the mark scheme or you just won't get anything for it um so please 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 read the questions carefully read what command words and they're choosing to put in the question and do exactly how it says they're not trying to trick you you just need to read the questions and do exactly what they say but if you know your exam like command words you're going to be fine um this was just something i found a bit tricky to get hold of another thing i've put down as well try and do your revision based off an exam question or exam paper um i know that this probably isn't the most reliable because obviously on your exam it's probably not going to come up if it's been on a previous exam so if you're revising the stuff on a mock paper it might not come up in your exam but it just makes it a lot more effective for you to know exactly how to answer a question um like i said earlier about how i used to take six mark questions and break them up into chunks and individual like words and stuff um i would say just do that for any revision in general um because it will help an awful lot and like i said it will make you understand mark schemes and what words you need to include um to answer the question because it's all good learning your stuff but if you haven't included one word um sometimes you don't even get a single mark because there'll be an underlying bit in the mark schemes and you have to include that word otherwise you don't get the mark so it's best if you learn exactly what's going to be on the mark scheme because then you're going to get the marks if you know what i mean um i feel like i've ranted a long time about exam questions so we're going to move on to two extra points um we're getting towards the end of the video now these points went in my advice for year 11 video if you are in um year 10 and you're going to year 11 currently honestly give that video a watch because if you found this video really helpful you're going to find that one as well because there's more general advice some advice that's not about your exams or about school it's more about your friendship and your social time i would definitely suggest go watching that video on my channel um it was only a couple of videos away so it'll be easy for you to find but anyway these ones i did include that video but i'm gonna say it now because they're very very important um focus on maximizing your mark and not necessarily on the grade um there is nothing more important than if you want a grade nine to constantly increase in your mark um because you could be safely in a grade nine but when you could get to the exam and the grade the mark you need for to get a grade nine could be 10 more marks than you've been getting in class and i know that's really scary because you're not going to know the um grade boundary until you've all sat the exam 
but oh my lord, just try and get as many marks as possible. Um, if you get a mock paper back and you find that you've missed marks here and there, work out why you've missed marks and then from that you can then work out what you need to do to then get those extra marks if you got what I mean. Um, this does link to my second point and my very very last point in this topic and in the video is just reflect on your marks. Take your marks seriously because if you reflect on what bits of science like topics you've missed you can then put that into your revision and revise those because we all need to know what our weaknesses are and those weaknesses can easily become your strengths if you know how to revise from your mocks. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm being really confusing, but yeah, just use your mocks and to work out your strengths and weaknesses and focus on those weakness, weaknesses and make them stronger. Yeah, probably the best advice I can give you right now. So yeah, anyway, I really hope you did enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, um, check out my social media. I will try and leave the links on the screen. Um, like I said, if you were in year, year 10 and you're going into year 11, don't forget to check out my advice for year 11 video because there will be a lot more tips in that video that you probably will need before you go back to school um and if you want to see my reaction to me opening my GCSE result go watch that as well that was my previous video but yeah anyway um I will see you next time with another video bye